When it comes to actually finding out how your online store is doing, customer feedback plays an important part. So make sure you get the most of your customers in a feedback form. So basically feedback can be an email or some sort of a suggestion and actually some ratings as well. So in this video tutorial, we'll have a look at the ratings. So basically the customers can rate anything. They can rate your products, your prices, your customer services, and so on. Now within Magento Go, to actually go into the ratings and adjust the settings, all you have to do is go to the catalog, then scroll down to reviews and rating, and down the bottom you'll find manage ratings. Right, when you click on manage ratings a new page will show up like this this is the manage ratings page and here you find all the ratings so by the default magento go creates three ratings there's the quality value and price and i'm sure you have seen this before this is actually the five star rate where a user gives you a number of stars out of five stars possible so the more stars you get the better it actually is all right so rating system comes in built with magento go so basically all of your stores will have this and customers will actually be able to rate your quality your price your value your services and everything else all you have to do here is basically uh, you can either delete some of those or you can just add some new ratings so for example you do not want to be rated on your price so if you click on the price, information about that particular rating will be shown here, so you can edit it. So what we want to do in this case is just delete this rating and to do that we'll just hit on this delete rating button here. Then Magento Go will actually ask us are we sure we want to delete this, we'll say yes and click on OK. And then we'll be brought back to our manage ratings page and here you can see that currently we only have two so instead of three we have two we have just deleted one we have the quality and the value all right let's go ahead and delete for example the value so once again we'll click on value and here in the edit rating page we'll actually go and delete this rating once again we'll click on yes to confirm that we do want to actually delete this rating this will now bring us back again to the manage ratings page and here we have only one rating. Alright, so for example you would like to see how your customers are happy with your customer service and you would actually like to create a rating where your customers will give you a number of stars out of 5 stars. 5 stars of course being the best and 0 stars being the worst. So to create a new rating what we have to do is actually go here and click on add new rating button. This will now open a new page, something similar to what we've seen before and the only thing we and there are actually two things we have to do here. First of all, we have to enter a default value. So what will this rating be called? So we're actually looking for customer service feedback. So we'll actually type in here customer service. All right, once we have done that, we'll actually select how this will be visible. So rating visibility and we'll actually make it visible in default store view. Alright, so once we have selected that, we have to go and actually save this configuration, so save this rating and we'll actually hit on save rating button. Alright, now we can actually see that our customer service rating has now been added to our list and actually you can see that the ID is not number 2 because we have actually had a couple of those before and we have deleted them. Even though the ratings do get deleted, the actual ID remains there and it's been recorded so the ID of our customer service rating is currently number four all right so that's pretty much it on how you would actually go about managing your rating within your Magento Go online store it's quite easy and it provides a lot of feedback information not only to you but also to some possible customers so for example if a customer comes onto your online site and that person is actually looking for a good quality service and if you have for example five out of five stars so that's your rating that person will say all right this online store provides good customer service and i will actually consider purchasing some products from them also they might be looking for a good quality so for example if you have five out of five stars rating for your quality they'll just know that your quality the products of your quality is actually good and they will actually consider purchasing some products on your site. So once again, ratings are a really good way of actually getting some feedback from your customers and not only is this good just for the owners of the online store, so for yourself, but it's also good for some possible future customers as they can get some information on what actually they can expect from your online site when it comes to customer service, quality, value, price and everything else. So basically you can add as many um, ratings here as you would like and actually give your future possible customers some information about how your online site is actually 
going and why they should actually do business with you and purchase some products from your online site.